at some point in my life, I began to ask, what am I made of? When I learned the basic of atoms, I dig deeper. Protons and neutrons are made of even smaller elementary particles. Then, I stumbled upon this thing theory, suggesting that the fundamental particles are all made of just tiny one-dimensional filaments, a vibrating string. Just imagine a guitar. Different notes correspond to different particles. It also offers a solution to incompatibility of two basic scientific laws of modern physics. It ties the quantum mechanics and general relativity into a single unified theory. Theory of everything. Basically, our universe is combined under four fundamental forces. Gravity, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces. The fundamental particles that act as a carrier of the forces are photons, gluons, W and Z bosons, and the undiscovered carrier of gravity. Gravitons. All of these particles are just manifestation of a string. It also incorporates the principle of supersymmetry. Hence, it is called supersymmetric string theory or just superstring theory. One of its prediction is that at higher energy scales, we should start to see evidence of symmetry that gives every particle that transmits a force a partner particle that makes up matter and vice versa. However, there are five distinct candidates for superstring theory and an 11 dimensional supergravity. Then, Edward Witten in 1995 suggested that all of these theories are just limiting cases of a single mother of all these theories. M-theory Another mathematical result is that a theory only makes sense in a world with 11 space-time dimensions. Two possible explanations currently exist for the location of extra dimensions. It could be coiled up or compactified to incredibly small sizes in the form of complex Calabria manifolds. An analogy would be three-dimensional wire that appears as a one-dimensional line from a distance because other two dimensions are curled up as a small circle. Another explanation for extra dimension is that we are stuck on three-dimensional membrane. There are two types of string, open and closed. So particles like photons are string that have their endpoints forever attached to a membrane, while graviton is a closed loop that could propagate freely through other dimension. It might be an explanation why gravity is extremely weak. With all of these achievements of superstring theory, there are no direct experimental evidences to prove that it is true. The string is just extremely small with huge number of possible form of extra dimensions. However, scientific community recognizes it because of its natural progression through the years, supported with sophisticated mathematics. Indeed, it is an active area of research. For now, I am just satisfied how this theory answers my question, that it might be just a string. In this universe of cosmic music, resonates through 11-dimensional hyperspace.